Okay, so an arithmetic means are, like let's say I'm looking at a finite, remember the difference between infinite and finite, we talked about them yesterday. Uh, arithmetic sequence, let's say I'm looking at one, two, three, all the way up to some term, the kth term, right? It's not the nth term because that would be out however far we were um, out to a big one. We just want to say up to some portion of it, like up to the tenth term or the twentieth term, but not all the way out. So the terms that aren't the first term and aren't the last term, but are all of the terms in between are referred to as the arithmetic means. Okay, so let's say I'm given two terms, the first term and the last term, and it says uh, to determine the four arithmetic means between three and seven. Well, if four are the number of means between them, then this is the first, and then I have um, two, three, four, five, six would be my seventh term. So that means that a sub one is equal to three, and a sub six is equal to 7. So let's let 1, 3, and 6, 7 represent um, an x and a y, or an n and an a sub 1, and an a sub 6, and an, and a, I'm sorry, a 6 and an a sub 6, allowing us to infer out what a common difference would be if I broke up all of those values between, I broke them up among those five terms. So 7 minus 3 gives us a 4, 6 minus 1 gives us 5 steps between those two terms. So that means that my common difference to travel from 3 to 7 must be 4 fifths. So let's see if it works. Beginning at 3 and ending at 7, let's add in our 4 fifths, add in our 4 fifths until we get to 7. Double check that everything is working the way we thought it would. So 3, and then 3 and 4 fifths, adding 1 on, giving us 4, and then 3 more to give us 4 and 3 fifths. We have to add 4 fifths to that, compensate up to 5, 2 use, 2 more to go, 5 and 2 fifths, 4 more fifths to go. So 3 up brings us to 6, leaving 1 fifth remaining. And then let's check, does this get us the rest of the way? 4 fifths, yep. So I have one, two, three, four arithmetic means between three and seven, and those were the terms that we were looking for. So that's how you do that. Not too complicated. Monday we're going to go over 4.2 in class, and don't forget to plan for uh, DP test prep on Monday afternoon. So it was nice um, having you guys at those, I feel like they're making a big difference in terms of getting through your tests in a more appropriate uh, and speedy, efficient kind of way. So let's make sure that we are working hard to make that part of our uh, pattern of success. See you guys soon.